Chapter 33 Retiring to a Mosque for a Remembrance of Allah El Tikaf Chapter 1 The El Tikaf in the last 10 days of Ramadan Narrated Abdullah bin Umar Allah's Messenger used to practice El Tikaf in the last 10 days of the month of Ramadan. Narrated Aisha, the wife of the Prophet, the Prophet used to practice El Tikaf in the last 10 days of Ramadan till he died, and then his wives used to practice El Tikaf after him. Narrated Abu Sayyid al Qudri. Allah's Messenger used to practice El Tikaf in the middle 10 days of Ramadan and once he stayed in El Tikaf till the night of the 21st and it was the night in the morning of which he used to come out of his El Tikaf. The Prophet said, whoever was in El Tikaf with me should stay in El Tikaf for the last 10 days for I was informed of the date of the night of Qadr but I have been caused to forget it in the dream. <clears throat> I saw myself prostrating in mud and water in the morning of that night, so look for it in the last ten nights and in the odd ones of them. It rained that night and the roof of the mosque dribbled as it uh, was made of leaf stalks of date palms. I saw with my own eyes the mark of mud and water on the forehead of the Prophet yeah, in the morning of the 21st. Chapter 2 A menstruating woman is permitted to comb the hair of a man in El Tikaf. Narrated Aisha The Prophet used to put bend his head out to me while he was in El Tikaf in the mosque during my monthly periods and I will come and oil his hair. Chapter 3 Mutakif not to enter the house except for a need. Narrated Aisha The wife of the Prophet, Allah's messenger, used to let his head in the house while he was in the mosque and I will come and oil his hair. When in El Tikaf, he used not to enter the house except for a need. Chapter 4 The taking of a bath by a mutakif Narrated Aisha The Prophet used to embrace me during my menses. He also used to put his head out of the mosque while he was in El Tikaf and I would wash it during my menses. Chapter 5 The El Tikaf at Night Narrated Ibn Umar Umar asked the Prophet, I vowed in the pre Islamic period of ignorance to stay in El Tikaf for one night in Al Majid al Haram. The Prophet said to him, Fulfill your vow. Chapter 6 Woman's El Tikaf Narrated Amra Aisha said The Prophet used to practice El Tikaf in the last 10 days of Ramadan and I used to pitch a tent for him and after offering the morning prayer he used to offer he used to enter the tent Hafsa asked the permission of Aisha to pitch a tent for her and she allowed her and she pitched her tent. When Zainab bin, bin Yash saw it, she pitched another tent. In the morning, the Prophet noticed the tents. He said, what is this? He was told of the whole situation. Then the Prophet said, do you think that they intended to do righteousness by doing this? He therefore abandoned the El Tikaf in that month and practiced El Tikaf for 10 days in the month of Shawal. Chapter 7 Tents in Mosque Narrated Aisha 
The Prophet intended to practice Eltikaf and when he reached the place where he intended to perform, to perform Eltikaf, he saw some tents, the tents of Aisha, Hafsa and Zainab. So he said, Do you consider that they intended to do righteousness by doing this? And then he went away and did not perform Eltikaf in Ramadan, but performed it in the month of Shawwal for 10 days. Chapter 8 Mutakif going to the gate of the mosque Narrated Ali bin al Hussein. Safiya, the wife of the Prophet, told me that she went to Allah's Messenger to visit him in the mosque while he was in El Tikaf in the last 10 days of Ramadan. She had a talk with him for a while, then she got up in order to return home. The Prophet accompanied her. When they reached the gate of the mosque, opposed opposite the door of Umm Salama, two Ansari men were passing by, and they greeted Allah's Apostle. He told them, Do not run away, and said, She is my wife, Safiya, Safiya bint Huyay. Both of them said, SubhanAllah, how dare we think of any evil, O Allah's Messenger, and they felt it. The Prophet said to them, Satan reaches everywhere in the human body as blood reaches in it. Everywhere in one's body, I was afraid lest Satan might insert an evil thought in your minds. Chapter 9 Coming out of El Tikaf in the morning of 20th of Ramadan. Narrated Abu Salama bin Abdul Rahman. I asked Abu Sayyid al Qudri, Did you hear Allah's Messenger talking about the night of Qadr? He replied in the affirmative and said, Once we were in El Tikaf with Allah's Messenger in the middle 10 days of Ramadan, and we came out of it in the morning of the 20th, and Allah's Messenger delivered a sermon on the 20th of Ramadan and said, I was informed of the date of the night of Qadr in my dream, but I had forgotten it. So look for it in the old nights of the last ten days, of the last ten nights of the month of Ramadan. I saw myself prostrating in mud and water on that night, as a sign of the night of Qadr. So whoever had been in El Tikaf with a last messenger should return for it. The people returned to the mosque for El Tikaf. There was no trace of clouds in the sky, but all of a sudden a cloud came and it rained. Then the prayer was uh, established. They stood for the prayer and Allah's messenger prostrated in mud and water. And I saw mud over the forehead and the nose of the Prophet. Chapter 10 El Tikaf of a woman who has bleeding in between her periods. Narrated Aisha. One of the wives of Allah's Messenger practiced El Tikaf with him while she had or she had bleeding in between her periods, and she would see red bloods, red blood or yellow yellowish traces, and sometimes we put a tray beneath her when she offered the prayer. Chapter 11 The Visit of the Wife to Her Husband in El Tikaf Narrated Ali bin Al Hussein from Safiya, the Prophet's wife. The wives of the Prophet were with him in the mosque while he was in El Tikaf, and then they departed, and the Prophet said to Safiya bin Huyay, Don't hurry up, for I shall accompany you and her dwelling was in the house of Isama. The Prophet went out and in the meantime two Ansari men met him and they looked at the Prophet and passed by. The Prophet said to, her, to them, Come here, she is my wife, Safiya bint Huyay. They replied, SubhanAllah, how dare we think of evil, O Allah's Apostle, we never expect anything bad from you. The Prophet replied, Satan circulates in the human being as blood circulates in the body, and I was afraid 
lest Satan might insert an evil thought in your minds. Chapter 12 Is it permissible for the Mutakif to defend himself? Narrated Ali bin Al Hussein from Safiya. Safiya went to the Prophet while he was in El Tikaf. When she returned, the Prophet accompanied her walking. An Ansari man saw him. When the Prophet noticed him, he called him and said, Come here, she is Safiya. Sufyan, a sub narrator, perhaps said that the Prophet had said, This is Safiya. And Satan circulates in the body of Adam's offspring as his blood circulates in it. A sub narrator asked Sufyan, Did Sophia visit him at night? He said, Of course, at night. Chapter 13 Whoever went out of his Eltikov in the morning. Narrated Abu Said. We practiced El Tikaf with Allah's Messenger in the middle 10 days of Ramadan. In the morning of the 20th of Ramadan, we shifted our baggage, but Allah's Messenger came to us and said, Whoever was whoever was M. El Tikaf should return to, the, to his place of El Tikaf, for I saw he was informed about the date of this night of Qadr, and saw myself prostrating in mud and water. When I returned to my place, the sky was overcast with clouds and it rained. By him who sent Muhammad with the truth, the sky was covered with clouds from the end of the day of that day, and the mosque which was roofed with leaf stalks of date palm trees leaked with rain, and I saw the trace of mud and water over the nose of the Prophet and its tip. Chapter 14 El Tikaf in the month of Shawal Narrated Amra bint Abdul Rahman from Aisha Allah's Messenger used to practice El Tikaf every year in the month of Ramadan and after offering the morning prayer he used to enter the, pl the place of his, of his El Tikaf Aisha asked his permission to let her practice El Tikaf and he allowed her and so she pitched a tent in the mosque when Hafsa heard of that she also pitched a tent for herself, and when Zeynab heard of that, she too pitched another tent. When in the morning Allah's Messenger had finished the morning prayer, he saw four tents and asked, What is this? He was informed about it. He then said, What made them do this? Is it righteousness? Remove the tents, for I do not want to see them. So the tents were removed. The Prophet did not perform El Tikaf that year in the month of Ramadan, but did it in the last 10 days of Shawal. Chapter 15 El Tikaf without fasting Narrated Abdullah bin Umar Umar bin al Khattab said, O Allah's Messenger, I vowed in the pre-Islamic period for to perform El Tikaf in Al-Majid al-Haram for one night. The Prophet said, Fulfill your vow. So he performed El Tikaf for one night. Chapter 16 Vow in the pre Islamic period to perform El Tikaf. Narrated Ibn Umar. That Umar had vowed in the pre Islamic period to perform El Tikaf in Al Majid, Al Haram. A sub narrator, narrator thinks that Umar vowed to perform El Tikaf for one night. Allah's Messenger said to Umar, Fulfill your vow. Chapter 17 El Tikaf in the middle 10 days of Ramadan. Narrated Abu Huraira. The Prophet used to perform El Tikaf every year in the month of Ramadan for 10 days, and when it was the year of his death, he stayed in El Tikaf for 20 days. Chapter 18 Whoever intended El Tikaf and then changed his mind. Narrated Amra bint Abdur Rahman from Aisha. Allah's Messenger mentioned that he will practice El Tikaf in the last 10 days of Ramadan. Aisha asked his permission to perform El Tikaf and he permitted her. 
Hafsa asked Aisha to take his permission for her, and she did so. When Zainab bint Josh saw that, she ordered a tent to be pitched for her, and it was pitched for her. Allah's messenger used to proceed to his tent after the prayer. So he saw the tents and asked, what is this? He was told that those were the tents of Aisha, Hafsa and Zainab. Allah's apostles said, is it righteousness which they intended by doing so? I am not going to perform al tikaf So he returned home. When the fasting month was over, he, perf he performed al tikaf for 10 days in the month of Shawal. Chapter 19 A mutakif can let his head in the house for washing. Nar narrated Udva Aisha, during her menses, used to comb, comb and oil the hair of the Prophet while he used to be in al tikaf in the mosque. He would, st he would stretch out his head towards her while she was in her chamber 